Welcome to the NIHR Imperial Biomedical Research Centre, or BRC. Our BRC is spread across five trust hospitals, as well as the campuses of Imperial College. The partnership brings together a university, consistently rated one of the best in the world, and an NHS trust providing care for over a million people a year. Working with institutions such as Imperial, the power of the college and the trust is incredibly important to companies like AstraZeneca because it's one of the most innovative and large institutions in the UK. The aim of our BRC is to reach deeply into our discovery science base at Imperial and with our clinical investigators to develop new drugs, new diagnostics, devices and new ways of analysing NHS data. I'm standing in ICTEM, our Imperial Centre for Translation and Experimental Medicine, here in the heart of our Hammersmith Hospital campus. ICTEM was put up in 2012 and is the absolute centre of our BRC. Most of our BRC themes are based here. And also in the building, on the ground floor, we have our Wellcome Trust NIHR Clinical Research Facility. And some of our embedded institutes are also in this building the Medical Research Council Clinical Science Centre, our BHF Cardiovascular Centre and our CRUK Cancer Centre. We will pursue nine research themes, each with excellent laboratory and clinical research facilities, aligned NHS research support and technology transfer expertise. For example, across four floors of our Surgical Innovation Centre, we design robotics and devices within our Hamlin Centre, educate surgeons in the Rothschild Training Centre and apply these developments in our operating theatres. It's these inclusive environments that attract both the researchers of tomorrow and patients to be involved in our work. I'm a clinical academic trainee at Imperial. As a dietitian, I have access to Imperial's facilities and a diverse group of patients that enable me to carry out my translational research. Well, I think the experience here has been 100% positive and I've been really well looked after. And, uh, I think if any, anybody else has another chance in the next section of the trial to go for it. Underpinning our research themes are our platform technologies, brought together through our Virtual Institute for Translational Medicine and Therapeutics. We have leading informatics and biobanking capability, drawing on our strengths in computational science, and linking to the Transmart platform here at the Data Science Institute, which brings together clinical data and omics data for integrated data analysis. We have extensive tissue collections, including deeply phenotyped cohorts and patient collections with stored biological samples, which we intend to integrate where possible with the national NIHR resources. As a precursor to the MRC NIHR National Phenome Centre, we set up our own local clinical phenotyping centre which offers deep phenotyping through both NMR and LCMS technologies and is home to the eye knife. Of critical importance is our strategic alliance with the instrument manufacturers Waters and Brooker. We provide technology, we provide instrumentation, we provide individuals and resources. But Imperial provides a scientific expertise that we, we couldn't provide internally. At our Hammersmith Hospital campus, we have state-of-the-art PET and MR facilities that are available through our BRC Clinical Imaging Facility and partnerships with the MRC Clinical Sciences Centre and Imanova. Within our genetics and genomics theme, we have extensive large-scale nucleic acid sequencing facilities and genome science education programmes. In particular, we're developing next-generation sequencing-based diagnostic assays, transforming diagnoses of both common and rare diseases. So a world-class BRC needs a world-class pipeline of innovation to bring research into the clinic. So I'm standing here on our new Imperial White City campus. This extraordinary exciting development. Behind me, the new translation hub. On my other hand, the Molecular Science Building. This is going to bring Imperial's chemists and engineers and bioengineers and physicists and computer scientists adjacent to our clinicians, bringing our research into the heart of our BRC.